morning. Welcome to Google I.O. 2015. Thank you for joining us today. I know there were long lines. Thank you for making it in. Uh, we are being joined by over 2 million people on the live stream. So welcome to all of them as well. In as always, we live stream I.O. to many, many locations around the world. In fact, to over 460 locations in 90 countries across six continents. Let's say hello to a couple of them. First is to Mexico City. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. <laughs> Let's move on. We are moving to Munich in Germany. G Guten Tag. And finally, to a small town, Juja, outside of Nairobi in Kenya. Habari Ghani. There's a college there, and so we have many students joining us. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's really exciting to be here today. This is, of course, the moment of mobile and the smartphone. We've been talking about the mobile revolution for a while, but just since last year, since last year's I.O., there are over 600 million people who, for the first time, have adopted a smartphone. And they're beginning the journey of computing. So it's incredibly special the moment we live in. So at Google, we've always been working hard to build products for everyone in the world. We try to look at technology and see, by using technology, can we make a difference to a fundamental problem in people's lives. That's how we did Google Search. Google Search worked the same for everyone in the world, whether you were a rural kid in Indonesia or a professor at a world-class research center, you had the same search results at your fingertips as long as you had access to a computer and connectivity. We went on to solve many more problems. We asked, why does Gmail have to be so slow? Why couldn't you search through all your email? That led us to Gmail. We noticed people were really interested in the real world around them. That led us to Google Maps, YouTube. Over time, we built two computing platforms. Chrome, because we noticed browsers were very slow and not safe to use. Android, because the team noticed the fragmentation and how difficult it was to build mobile phones, and the user experience was confusing, and the developer experience was very difficult. We brought that together in the form of Android. Each of these products today work at scale for everyone in the world. And we are privileged to serve over a billion users in each of these products. So today, in this moment of mobile at I.O., we're going to talk about two things. The first is how we are evolving our computing platforms, not just for mobile, but beyond mobile for a multi-screen world. The second is how Google, core to our mission of organizing the world's information, is really evolving the mobile experience for users. So let's get started with our computing platforms and Android. Android is working at scale. Last year, eight out of 10 phones that were shipped were based on Android. The breadth and depth of what we see in Android is just stunning. We just want to visualize it and internalize it for a minute. So behind me, you're going to see a dot, a single dot for every Android active phone out there. And we are representing the range with colors. Blue stands for high-end phones, high pixel density, high RAM, phones like the Samsung Galaxy S6, LG G4, et cetera. Orange is at the other end of the spectrum, what you see in emerging markets, small, affordable, the entry-level smartphones there are over 4,000 distinct devices you see in Android. And the range of what we see is what we really embrace. In fact, when we say be together, not the same, that is precisely what we mean. We want to make sure we leave no one behind. We want to provide Android for users the way they like it so that it works for them. Next slide. So today, we are also going to talk about how Android is not only evolving for mobile, but how we are taking computing beyond mobile as well. Last year at Google I.O., 
we talked about Android evolving to many, many form factors. So let's see how we are doing. We have to remember with the phone, we started with one phone, and today we serve 400 OEMs, 500 carriers, and over 4,000 devices. The same journey is underway in each of these areas. For Android Wear, we started with two models. Today we are up to over seven models, and there are many more to come. The team has been evolving the software continuously, and you'll get a full update on that today. Android Auto. We announced this last year as an open automotive alliance. Just last week, Hyundai announced that its Sonata models are available in US dealerships right now. GM announced 13 of its Chevrolet models for 2016 will be based on Android Auto. Volkswagen just announced this week its entire lineup for 2016 including Passat and the common models in Europe and North America is based on Android Auto. Ford, GM, Mitsubishi. We, are, we have over 35 car manufacturers beginning to ship, and so we'll have a whole range of vehicles coming in the market soon. Android TV. We announced last year as a reference device, ADT-1. Today we have Sony and Sharp televisions shipping in the US, Philips, which is very popular in Europe, and many more models coming. There are many, many streaming consoles. NVIDIA Shield is a great console. Razer has one. And the range of content we are seeing in Android TV is pretty breathtaking. We have grown our user base there. We have doubled in the last three months alone. Of course, for TV, for televisions, we have a simple and elegant solution in the form of Chromecast. People have bought over 17 million devices. They've pressed the cast button 1.5 billion times. And today, you have over 20,000 applications you can cast from. All of this is powered by an incredible content ecosystem in Google Play. And today, I'm very excited to announce HBO Now, for the first time, is coming to Google Play. And it's available across Android and iOS using Cast. You can watch your favorite episodes, be it Game of Thrones, the upcoming True Detective season, or maybe even your favorite episode of Silicon Valley. I hope this moment doesn't make it in there. Uh, so we always start I.O. by giving an update of our upcoming platform release. That's the foundation of everything we do. Last year with L, L was a major release for us in which we tackled many, many form factors. For M, we have gone back to the basics We've really focused on polish and quality. We've literally solved thousands of bugs, and more importantly, thought through every detail to make it better. To give you a preview of the upcoming M release, let me invite Dave Burke onto the stage. <laughs> 